in the first book of the Bible, the first story, there's a garden, beautiful lush garden. And there were loads of trees in the garden, but there were two particular trees. One was the tree of life, and one was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Hey, it's Uber Grace time. Hope you're having a great day. Now, I want to tell you about those two trees because it doesn't matter if that story is true or not. A lot of people think it's absolute fact that there was a Garden of Eden and there was all these things. Some people manage to get a hold of the allegorical nature of it. What's, in, what's important is you get the truth from it, whether it's true or not. Okay, and actually this garden really talks about our hearts, it's like our heart is a garden and in the root of our hearts there is a, a desire for the knowledge of good and evil and there is a knowledge, there is a desire for life. And at the beginning there's two trees, at the end there's one tree. In Revelation it talks about the tree of life. Somewhere along the way we lost the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. I hope and that's the story of our lives really I, I think that we come to a point where we've been trying to work out what's black and white and what's right and wrong and what's true and false and all those things and it drives us mad you can't live out of that religions including Christian religion have totally gone overboard on that and are just it's just nuts absolutely bonkers what they come up with so, what am I saying? There's another tree. Cursed is him who is hung on a tree, is an expression from the Old Testament. But it's talking about Jesus who was nailed to a cross, sometimes referred to as a tree. And actually that tree was the knowledge of good and evil. That cross that Jesus was nailed to, that crucified him, was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. When he rose again, he brought this new life, this new impetus, that we don't have to live by laws and regulations, and this is wrong and that's wrong. Some of them are useful, but it's actually relying and putting your trust and life in them is the problem. We need to be living life. I've come that you may have life in all its fullness, not rules and regulations. The letter kills, but the spirit gives life. Oh man, how much religion has got it wrong. It's about a relationship, how we relate to the divine all around us, in creation, in us, in each other. That's what it's about. It's not about whether you can do this and that and well, who should we stone next and who should we burn at the stake next and all the horrendous things that have come out of man's hearts because they haven't got rid of and that they continue to live more and more out of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now we need to get a hold and recognise that actually that tree's no longer there. That, he was nailed to that. That's gone. Now we have life in all its fullness. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Have a great day. It will have a share, have a like, whatever. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.